so they're just to set a quick photo. Oh, And be gracious unto you. May the Amen. Lord Amen. turn his face Amen. at you and give you peace. Amen. 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 
sure? Okay. Oh, I Go missed ahead. it. Go back. <laughs> Okay. I can't see it. Okay, here we go. Do you, you see it? Do you want to say it in English? Uh, do you, you know how to read? I don't know how to read. Do you know how to read? Hebrew? I can do it in English. English. Okay, okay, English. Okay, okay. You can do it in English, no problem. May God, May God make you make. So we do we both do it together? Yeah. Whatever you yeah. want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May God, may God make you make like. Like Sarah, like Sarah, you, like Sarah, Sarah Rebecca, Rebecca, Rechel, Rechel and, and Leah. Leah. Amen. Amen. Okay, we have the problem. May, here you go. You? May, May God, God make, make you like if no, 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 down here. May the Lord, Lord bless you and protect you. Amen. Oh, amen. 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 May the amen. Lord shine His face upon you and He be gracious to you. May the Lord. Amen. 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 May the Lord turn His face to you and bring you peace. Amen. Okay. We don't have time for everyone to give the blessings. You'll do that when you're eating lunch. Here. I come before you with great joy that you have been kept me alive, sustained me and allowed me to reach this day. What a special time this is that I am now about to put in my heart to keep your commandments. My heart is glad and I proudly rejoice knowing the saints have said that when a girl reaches the age of 12, a spirit is renewed in her and in her to do good at some in her and helps to praise your name. May your name be blessed and exalted over her blessing and pain. <laughs> From desire to the will of our Father in heaven. For all this, we thank you. And as you have kept us alive, to reach the day, please also keep me alive and sustain me and help me to reach the marriage canopy and live the life of goodness. Amen. Amen. And when I am old and gray, please, God, do not leave me. Answer me, Lord, answer me. Turn to me, be merciful. Keep your, keep your servant and her loved ones strong and deliver us from all harm. May your loving kindness be upon me and may you guide me always. Open my eyes so that I may see the wonders of your Torah. To the Lord's sake, for the compassion, for the sake of our Rebecca's family. not with you? Sarah, Rebecca, and Rachel, and Maybe my she's with Where's Rebecca? Servant. And for the sake of the Lord, right? She's over there. May their it's okay. Be it's okay. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. And may they Jeff, it's petition okay. Jeff, you on our here. behalf. Act as a thing and not for ours. And may the words of my lips and thoughts of my heart find favor for you. My rock and my Savior. Amen. 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 That was Okay. Okay. Um, would you, both of you, you can go over to the wall now. You can say quietly a special uh, tefillah because when you're here, this is a great place for tefillah. We said all the tefillah of the world are coming here. And this day of your bat mitzvah is a special day for you to ask from God whatever you want. Do you want to ask for something for your parents? Do you want to ask for your family? Do you want to ask for yourselves? Do you want to ask for your all your relatives? Do you want to ask for the whole Jewish nation that we should have peace and we should have all the good things? You can ask whatever you want. Go over to the wall and we're going to be waiting for you. Avita, come forward. Aviva, Aviva, go forward. And you want to put your heads closer to the apart to the wall? Are we doing going?
We look like art and we both do well in school. Family is important to us. Although we play with our siblings from time to time, we rely on them for comfort and support. I have a strong sense of Jewish pride and enjoy Shabbat dinners with my family. Like my Ema always says, you can come and go as you please, but you must always be here for Shabbat dinner. I love our Shabbat traditions and I look forward to doing this with my own family one day. I truly, after my first birthday, I don't remember our times together, but, I lately, but lately I have been interested in his history as a Holocaust survivor. When visiting his grave, I always visit the Holocaust Memorial nearby. I think about how his family was taken from him when he was my age now. I am so grateful that he survived and the sacrifices that he made for his family. The more I learn about him, the more I'm grateful, and the more, the more I am grateful for the life I have. When I visit his when I visit the Holocaust Memorial, my father tells me stories about his life. I feel very lucky to have freedom, a family I can count on, friends, and a home. In my Hebrew school, we always give Sadaka. It bothers me to see homeless people, and that I am powerless to help, to help them. It bothers me that, to see these people, because they have nothing that I have, such as daily meals, showers, a roof over their heads, and a family to love them. I want to continue to give Sadaka to charity, and help as many people as I can. I will continue to find it the way, the way, find ways to give people less fortunate. When I say I believe in God, or that I am trying to find God, it also means that I believe in the truth, and that I am seeking the truth. I feel the way, same way about science. Through the scientific process, mankind tries to figure out the truth of how a physical, how a physical world works. I believe that science is real, and Earth will not be destroyed by not believing in science.
And I especially want to thank everybody who came also from the United States. I want to recognize my mother, Leah Goldsby, who couldn't be here because of her health, and uh, Yishai Feinstein and Abe Goldsby, who would have loved to have been here to see this moment in college. This was Yishai's dream uh, for us all to come together as one happy family and honor, uh, we honor that dream today. Um, as most of you know, these two girls grew up on opposite sides of the United States. They've only uh, been together a few times growing up. When they first met in New York at the age of four, they behaved more like sisters than, than cousins. Uh, you could tell that they truly loved each other, and you could, you could, they could get enough of each other. And as the years went by, uh, they kept, it, they kept in touch through phone calls and texts. And basically, uh, time went by, we all lived our separate lives, and everyone was busy. Unfortunately, a couple years ago, Sabi Ishai passed away. And unexpectedly, the two girls came together again, but this time to comfort each other during this hard, this dark time. After the funeral, Lily invited me into her room, her room to play, and we all watched as the girls once again uh, took the time to listen to each other and to love each other. It was very, very touching. We were so inspired that we decided to get together the next year at our home in California. Everyone had a great time. While planning Lily's bat mitzvah. We consider coming to Israel to give her a stronger connection to Israel and her, and her Israeli family in the Jewish state. We found that Gal and Liz were also taking a vacation in Israel at that time. We decided to come together as a family once again in Israel. Sorry. What better way for these two girls to share their connection? Uh, which really we hope that will continue the rest of their lives. I've learned that life is complicated and messy. We create walls and hurdles to protect our feelings and keep each other away. We have disagreements, but in the end, only love each other, only the love we have for each other that really matters. That is what the girls have taught us today, and that is what we're going to continue to teach others tomorrow. I want to thank you for coming. Um, I know that this was my father's dream to have everyone here. Uh, and I know that my father saw the Ishai. Um, you know, I mean, his grandchildren meant the world to him. Aliva, Lily, I mean, he's, you know, he would have, he would have just, I mean, if he was alive today, I just, just, I know he's smiling from above. So, you know, I, I mean, I've been thinking about him a lot the last, uh, definitely the last few weeks, the last years. But um, when it comes to Aviva, I know for a fact that he just, anytime I just mentioned her name and, and talked about her, his heart would melt. Um, just, he always wanted to hear about his grandchildren. He would have loved to see all of his grandchildren. He would have loved to see Aviva today dancing, uh, doing well in school. Um, you know, I watched David play soccer, and I wish he saw him play soccer, because, yeah, he, he, he just thinks the world of his, uh, of his grandchildren. And, um, it's something that we should cherish. So, you know, I think this, this is obviously a cause for celebration, and thanks for uh, coming. I love you. I wish you could be at this moment. You are an amazing man. You have opened the eyes for me. I will always love you.